Good morning, everybody. It's Monsignor Deutsch. Uh, just finished Mass downtown at 7 o'clock uh, for this uh, Friday. And now I'm heading back up to Crane Road uh, to say Mass at 8. I got both Masses today, which is awesome. Uh, uh, Father Claytor, he's uh, finishing up his last day of a short vacation this week uh, with he and some of his priest buddies. And... Uh, this is also uh, Father Jack's day off, so he's not here. And so I get both. Praise God. So I'm going to do the 8 o'clock at Crane, and then I'm going to do uh, confessions, and I got some appointments. So I got a busy day, so that's why I'm doing this now when I had a few minutes in the car by myself to talk to you. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the thought occurred to me, especially as I was reading uh, uh, the gospel uh, for today, which Jesus tells us uh, to be as uh, wily as serpents, as gentle as doves, uh, to go out and to preach the good news, even though people don't think it's good news, right? We have a lot of situations in our life where people don't want to hear the gospel. They don't want to be evangelized. They they want to be left alone. They, they want to live their life without having the inconvenience uh, of the gospel in front of them. And that's just natural human nature because of original sin. Uh, but the consequences of that are when people don't want to hear us enough, uh, hear Jesus enough, hear the message or the good news enough, uh, they push back. And that makes us nervous, right? We get nervous when uh, things uh, impinge on our comfort and our freedom and our well-being. And then Jesus is saying, do not worry. Do not worry. And he goes, when uh, they call you out, when they persecute you, when uh, they uh, hand you over, didn't say if, it says when. That's, it's a guarantee. This is going to happen. Uh, when they push back, don't worry. When your kids don't want to go to Mass, uh, when your employer doesn't want you to live out your faith, when... Uh, certain Catholic teachings that we've taken for granted uh, for 2,000 years now all of a sudden are anathema to most people. When people uh, won't let you live out your faith freely, don't worry. See, an undue anxiety is uh, one of those big obstacles uh, to the, the, the growth of faith in our life. What are they? It's mainly... Uh, it's mainly uh, anger, grudges, undue anxiety. Uh, these, these are the things that will uh, get in the way of the development of your relationship with Jesus when you don't trust. So trust him and don't worry. He's got a plan. He's working it out. And he's going to take care of us. All right? So the very things that you're anxious about are the very things the Lord is using uh, to bring about uh, not only your redemption, uh, but that of your family, to allow your life to be that uh, a life of Jesus offered up on the cross. That's, uh, that's what this is about. So, brothers and sisters, um, you have an awesome day. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. Don't be afraid. Uh, don't be angry. Don't hold people in their sin. Uh, these, uh, these are the things that hurt us ourselves more than the people that we might be angry towards, right? So don't worry. Let it go. Give it to God. Know that he's working it out. And uh, be joyful. Be happy. Be confident. Be unafraid in the practice of your faith because you know what? That's what wins disciples. Amen? You guys have a great day. God bless you.